Hey guys, so we are going to do our third uh, reaction now. This is the oxidation reaction. In this reaction, we're going to be talking about the number of CH bonds and versus CO bonds. So when you oxidize an alcohol, you're going to decrease the number of CH bonds, but increase the number of CO bonds consequentially. So they're, they're opposites of one another. How I like to remember this is that oxidations are going to make more bonds to oxygen from carbon. So oxidations make more bonds to oxygen from carbons. So we're going to start off with the oxidation of primary alcohols. Uh, so we're gonna go down to the bottom first and then we'll go back up to the middle of the screen. Um, so we have a primary alcohol here that I have drawn. As you can see, we have two purple bonds to hydrogens and then one red bond to hydrogen. We're gonna talk just about the purple bonds right now or at the beginning and then we'll talk about the red one in a moment. So a primary alcohol has one carbon oxygen bond that you can see here, our carbon oxygen bond. There's only one. When we oxidize an alcohol, a primary alcohol specifically, we're going to just put on the, our reagents, we're just going to put an O in brackets because there are lots of different choices of oxidizing reagents, so we're not going to memorize what those are. Um, just know there's a lot of different things like chromium based or iodine based. There's a lot of crazy reagents out there, but we're not gonna worry about what those reagents are. We're just going to worry about what they do. So we're going to take our alcohol and we're going to oxidize it. So we're going to make more carbon oxygen bonds. How we're going to do this is through the loss of hydrogen. So we're going to lose H2. This first reaction, we're going to lose the two purple H2s. So one hydrogen from the oxygen and one hydrogen off of the carbon of the base of the oxygen. So those two hydrogens that I circled are going to be eliminated and form a second carbon hydrogen bond. So let's draw that out. We're gonna have our same carbon chain. Everything in black is the same. I'm gonna draw in that red hydrogen just for continuity. And then where the two purple hydrogens were, we're going to have a double bond in its place. Now we have two carbon oxygen bonds because we have a double bond now. And this molecule is then an aldehyde. So when we oxidize a primary alcohol, we get an aldehyde. However, primary alcohols are a little bit sticky because that's not where they stop. There's still another hydrogen on that carbon of where the oxygen is that could be oxidized. It could be removed to form another CO bond. We, we're not done yet, we, we have another chance. So if we have water in our mix as well, we're going to oxidize all the way to um, a third carbon oxygen bond. So this hydrogen here in red is going to interact with water so that the two red hydrogens are going to be the loss of H2, which is that oxidation that we're talking about. And then the blue OH from water is then going to be where we get our other oxygen in our uh, reaction. So let's go ahead and draw this out. We have oxygen and we have that second bond, which is from the purple from the first oxidation. Then now we lost our hydrogen. So we have now our blue OH bond. So these two hydrogens are lost as a molecule of H2. And then this oxygen comes in and replaces where that hydrogen was. Now we have three, one, two, oh, that's not what I wanted. 
We have two carbon oxygen bonds here and one, what did I do? There we go. One carbon oxygen bond here. So now we have a total of three carbon oxygen bonds. That's from our primary alcohol. We're never going to break a carbon carbon bond. So looking at the primary alcohol, there are two hydrogens that are on the base of that carbon. So we can make two more carbon oxygen bonds, removing those hydrogens and replacing them with oxygens. So our last bit here is a carboxylic acid. So when we oxidize a primary alcohol, we're not going to stop at an aldehyde. We will go all the way, do a double oxidation to the carboxylic acid. Let's look though at when we have a secondary alcohol. So in a secondary alcohol, we have only one hydrogen at the base of this uh, drum. We only have this one hydrogen here. There's only one opportunity to have another carbon oxygen bond because we are not going to break the carbon carbon bonds. Carbon carbon bonds stay where they are. So we have a carbon hydrogen bond here and an oxygen hydrogen bond here. So again, we can lose H2. This time, when we lose H2 and make a double bond in between the oxygen and the carbon, we'll then have our two CO bonds. And instead of making an aldehyde, we then have a ketone because we have a carbon on either side of that carbonyl. So at this point, instead of doing a double oxidation, we don't have another hydrogen, another CH bond to be oxidized. So this reaction stops here. We only have a single oxidation of secondary alcohols. Okay, and then our last one is the oxidation of tertiary alcohols. So in a tertiary alcohol, we do have this OH bond that could potentially, we could lose that hydrogen. However, on this carbon here, there's no more CH bonds or there's no CH bonds to be oxidized at all. So in this case, we have no reaction. So a tertiary uh, alcohol will not be oxidized because there are no CH bonds to be oxidized. So that is the overview of oxidation reactions and we'll do a little bit of practice in our next video.